Hey guys, it's Coach Sue here with Physique Development and I got a question in my question box asking how to transition to intuitive eating. So if you don't know what intuitive eating is, it's just eating. So eating mindfully, eating intuitively, eating in tune with your hunger cues, not tracking macros basically. So someone had said, how do I transition from tracking macros to intuitive eating? And this is something that I've had multiple clients transition just because I believe that macros are a great tool and it's probably probably going to be the best way and the fastest way to get to your goals, but for some people tracking macros isn't in the cards. And also, I don't want to be 80 years old pulling out my food scale tracking my macros in an app. So the great thing about macros and the thing that I love about macros is it taught me about food. All growing up, I never got any formal education about food outside of like the my plate or the food pyramid, which basically said to eat a lot of bread and not a lot of oils. How am I supposed to eat bread without butter? I just don't know. But I didn't really learn what was in food, what amount of food I was supposed to eat. I just knew that the average American diet was based off of 2000 calories because that's what all the nutrition labels said. Learning about macros allowed me to learn about serving sizes, what foods had protein, what had carbs, fat, fiber, what had more potassium in it, what had more sodium in it. So it really allowed me to dive into food labels and really understand food. But now that I have that base, because I've been tracking for a long time, I can go days, weeks, months, I could go the rest of my life without tracking and be just fine. I do wanna make a little sidestep here to say that if if you are transitioning to intuitive or mindful eating, I like the term mindful, if you are trying to lose weight, gain weight, or are very like zoned into your actual scale weight, it might be very helpful to take the scale out of the equation. I do have a video and I'll pop up what the screen looks like so you can find it on my Instagram about if you should weigh yourself, but it gives you a good cue to say that I don't need to just think about the scale and how it changes with how good I am with food because they're not all Always completely related to one another. If you are transitioning to intuitive or mindful eating, it doesn't mean that you can no longer make changes in your physique. It's just going to be a completely different process than macros. Number one thing is to be able to accept the change. There is going to be a change and change is always hard, but being able to accept that change and realize that there's going to be positives that come along with that change as well. Ease in and have either a one intuitive or mindful day or a free meal every week. So if you have questions on free meals or refeeds, I also have videos on that on the Physique Development YouTube channel. And you can always email me, sue at physiquedevelopment.com if you still have questions and I wanna be able to get you those answers. Being able to have that free meal, that time where you don't track food, to be able to give yourself that allowance. Because if you are strictly tracking seven days a week and don't remember the last time you didn't track, going completely cold turkey could be very difficult. So easing yourself into it by having free meals, having into intuitive days and being able to go from there. So for clients for physique development, we normally have one free meal a week when they're not in a dieting phase, being able to have that time to enjoy food, then I'll transition them to having one intuitive day or one mindful day. And this doesn't mean it's a cheat meal day that you're just going AWOL, eating whatever you want, whenever you want. It's really being able to just take that time away from opening an app on your phone, weighing out everything that you put in your mouth. So when I have intuitive days or mindful days, most the time I end up eating pretty similar foods. It's just I don't weigh them and I don't track them. So it doesn't need to be a crazy free for all. It can just be a normal day that you don't open up your app and you don't weigh your food. It doesn't have to be I'm going to go and eat 17 cupcakes because I don't have to track my macros. And if that's the headspace that you're in, then it might be a good option to go and talk to someone or talk to a professional because that again is a slippery slope to kind of get involved in. Another thing once you start to transition to having one and two intuitive day or free meal is being able to keep adding those on. So being able to have half of the week where you're not tracking and half of the week where you are tracking. You have that balance of being able to have some more freedom and be able to trust yourself, but then you also have that tracking where you're able to say, okay, these are the serving sizes, this is the caloric intake I'm taking in. The other thing that I highly suggest for clients is be able to kind of test themselves. If they're worried about going into intuitive tracking that they're either gonna gain a bunch of weight or whatever it may be, being able to take a day where you eat your normal foods, you don't weigh them until 
you've already put them in the bowl. So you can trust yourself that you know what four ounces of protein looks like. You know what 100 grams of rice looks like. Because if you have been tracking macros, you're smart, you're intelligent, you know what serving sizes look like, you know what food has in it. You just need to trust yourself that you can do it. We want to focus on health as a whole. Mental health, of course, is important and sometimes tracking macros isn't great for someone's mental health and that is a-okay. So being able to tell yourself by not tracking macros, it doesn't mean that you're weak or that you don't you don't care about your goals anymore. It's just that there's a time and place for everything. Set guidelines for yourself. So if you've been tracking macros strictly, going to so much freedom could be paralyzing for some people. So have some guidelines like, hey, I'm gonna have protein in all of my meals or three out of four of my meals, I'm gonna make sure I have a protein source um, or making sure, hey, I have fruits and vegetables two to three times a day or still making sure I hit my water goal. So having these guidelines for yourself so it's not just oh my gosh, what do I do with this freedom? It's okay, I still have goals. I still have outlines of how I wanna go about it. I just have more flexibility in how I'm doing it. Then I'll normally have clients transition to having not tracking for three weeks and then tracking for a day or two of a week just to again allow themselves to realize like hey I'm on track I'm doing what I need to do and it's okay to not know every macro that I'm eating that's going into my body so those are just some tips that I would give you if you're trying to transition over it can be scary for sure but the number one thing is to trust yourself you know what you're doing you can listen to your body and you can listen to those hunger cues and there's always going to be a room for okay maybe I've made a mistake if you want to label it that way and being able to learn from it there's times where I have intuitive days where it's like okay you went a little bit too crazy on that let's take that and apply it to the next day you do it so being able to always learn always evolve not expect yourself to be perfect or perfectly okay the first time you do it but know that it is okay to transition away from tracking macros because there is a time and place for macros and it might not be the time and place for you right now.